one meal a day, pros and cons. When we talk about intermittent fasting, we have various strategies to allow it to perform 16 eighths, 20 quarters, and 23 over 1, which means having one meal a day. The United Kingdom calls it OMAD, and today we will discuss the benefits that this type of intervention can bring to you. OMAD fasting is undoubtedly the most effective fasting for long-term results and benefits, both in terms of weight loss and the production of healthy hormones such as testosterone that prolong life. Dear viewers, if you appreciate the video and want to help us grow, we ask you to consider the idea of subscribing to our channel and making a donation to support us. Your support is essential for us and will allow us to continue creating interesting and useful content for you. You can do it here below, through the appropriate buttons, subscribe, and thanks. In this video, we will discuss the benefits of the OMAD 1 to 1 diet, which also helps in the production and proliferation of neurotrophin at the cognitive level. The difference is that we focus only on one meal. This concept will lead you to reduce your daily calories and slow down your metabolism. Temporary calorie restriction can give your body a huge advantage in its ability to burn fat before lipolysis, which occurs only after 12 hours of fasting. It also initiates the process of autophagy, which was awarded the Nobel Prize to Japanese researchers in 2017. Autophagy is a very useful thing because it means that your body is looking for fuel and trying to burn energy by using those irregular cells. There are some things that you cannot find, such as cells with defects. Fasting for 16 hours will help you burn cells that may be precancerous, as it helps you burn the toxins that you may have accumulated. After 20 to 22 hours of fasting, your body will begin to produce stem cells, mother cells that are not yet characterized by specificity but can replace tissues such as the liver, nerves, and brain nerves. Therefore, it is a very useful cell that has been recovered from the umbilical cord by some famous people in the past. Children undergo cryotherapy to keep them in difficult situations, but today we have access to these stem cells through fasting for all these reasons. You can also try the one-day diet. There are some difficulties. Some people eat for 22 hours and fast for 2 hours. The most significant difficulty in eating for 23 hours and fasting for 1 hour is concentrating all the necessary calories for 1 hour or up to 2 days. This means that in an average situation, a woman can eat 1800 to 2000 calories, depending on the sport she does. You can also understand if you can do it by having one meal a day or if it is useful to choose another option, such as the 20 quarters fast or intermittent fasting with four meals. It helps to imitate the real situation of prehistoric times when humans were not ready for everything at the supermarket. If you are like me, you simply do not know how to say that you have a beautiful plate in front of you and do not have an appetite. Autoresponders engraved in our genes lead us to maximize food intake when it is available instead of going hand in hand with the fact that primitive man often spent a very, very long time unable to eat because he could not access food. When he finally finds a tree full of fruit or manages to hunt animals, he makes the most of it by eating large quantities without limiting himself. Today, intermittent fasting 23 over 1 allows you to imitate this prehistoric mechanism respecting your desire to eat until you are full without feeling guilty. The advantages of having a one-day diet are associated with many autoimmune diseases and aging. It is a very effective way to stimulate healthy mechanisms that help prolong life and reduce other extremes. One advantage is that it reduces insulin levels in the blood. Insulin is an essential hormone for absorbing glucose, but when it is always high, it forces glucose to be assimilated and converted into fat. High insulin levels are associated with diabetes and many cardiovascular problems because it is impossible to burn fat. Therefore, you may be in a state where you cannot lose weight even with calorie restriction because the insulin level in the blood is always high. Being able to lower it to keep it stable is the first step to losing weight and reducing all cardiovascular risks today. However, one of the most important benefits for me is the amount of sugar in the blood, which directly affects your physical and mental performance and mood. Stabilizing and increasing or decreasing blood sugar levels within a few hours can help you avoid situations where you feel happy for a moment and then sad after a few hours. 
It can also help you avoid mood swings, loss of energy, and the inability to concentrate. At the physical level, at the mood level, and at the mental performance level, it is precisely related to the fluctuation of blood sugar levels. It is linked to the fact that blood sugar levels increase every time you eat refined and simple carbohydrates. However, glucose is a substrate that burns quickly, and since you are simply not eating, you have stable blood sugar levels. Your body begins to burn fat because you lose everything that is always the advantage of having it when you are in a relationship. And it means that blood sugar levels remain constant, and physical performance and mood remain constant. While it lasts, it allows the game to last 45 to 90 minutes, and during this time, you always have energy available. The third advantage of consistency is that it changes only the structure of your body. The most direct advantage is that it changes your appearance at the visual level. If you need to change your skin, you will lose fat with the belly. It improves the ratio between lean mass and fat mass. The fat accumulated in the abdomen and shoulders will make you a healthy person. You will encounter fewer injuries because you will be able to react with a healthier and stronger body and better reflexes. And it forces you to be medicalized to go to the hospital. The fourth benefit is that intermittent fasting with one meal a day produces essential hormones for health and longevity. However, the most important advantage of OMAD is that OMAD produces only these mechanisms of autophagy and stimulation of stem cells compared to other types of intermittent fasting, such as 16 eighths. Otherwise, 16 eighths will not reach this goal. We do not know that fat is released after 12 hours. Instead of talking about the ability to burn fat that you also have on 16 eighths because you start burning it, we will talk about processes such as autophagy and the production of stem cells, which can cure on the one hand and prefer the healing process, can prevent if you have some diseases compared to others, and therefore support the correct development of your body and allow you to live longer and healthier. I put my thumb up, subscribe to the channel, share videos with the people you love, and know that all this information can be useful. I know that there are no stupid people who make wrong choices, but only people who do not know. Therefore, when people like you hear what I have explained, they cannot make the best choice for them. It is normal to take and try intermittent fasting voluntarily rather than do it consciously. The benefits of these anti-aging are related to the fact that your body burns some proteins and consumes them through autophagy, creating new young cells that are constantly recycled. This is always suitable for staying young. Many people choose to do it, despite the fact that there may be contraindications and disadvantages. Checking the disadvantages in the negative aspects of OMAD compared to the pros we are talking about now is particularly relevant for people with dysmorphia. If you are a person who perhaps wants muscle mass, in this case, you are always looking to gain very thin weight. These types of people in difficulty may be contraindicated for going to the gym and trying to increase their physical structure by fasting for 23 hours. In these 23 hours, your body is going through a catabolic process in which proteins and the structure of your body are destroyed. Therefore, when you want to build muscle instead of being used to produce energy, we are promoting the anabolic pathways of the structure. In this case, your body needs the foundation of the necessary substrate structure to build new muscle. The situation may be more indicated because you have to do 20 quarters all the time. Time to assimilate them. Also, assimilate all the calories and the necessary amount to build muscle. If you are also interested in continuing to have muscles, how to continue developing muscles, I made a video dedicated to appearance. Aspect 1 day 1 meal is related to the type of meal you are trying to do. Your many have asked me what to eat. What can I eat when I eat 1 day 1 meal? Intermittent fasting is important in these situations. But if you do a type of diet that is not so simple and refined carbohydrates that promote healthy fats, one meal may be pizza, pasta, or bread. What this type of diet brings you in abundance is to have fluctuations of glucose in the blood continuously, and therefore on the one hand, it is harmful. The result is energy swings, mood swings, and cannot complete 23 over 1. Because your body, which is used to making energy from carbohydrates available at any time and does not have them at that time, is really struggling. 
It is important to have a diet rich in fats that must actually increase after 10 twelfths of an hour. Carbohydrates are all consumed in this situation. Therefore, you usually need to eat 2000 2000 and 500 of a calorie. Let's say you are used to it. You are a normal weight, and intermittent fasting increases your metabolism. Therefore, you want to stabilize this weight with intermittent fasting. On the other hand, eating more will give you more calories per gram. Therefore, it will give you 4% fat compared to 9%, which gives you carbohydrates against indications. The situation that I do not recommend having lunch one one times a day is if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. You can have lunch one one times a day. For you who are in this particular situation, absolute certainty that it is useful to do it for the moment, we do not recommend it. Contraindications are if you are living a period of strong stress. Intermittent fasting is also a kind of stress, especially in the initial phases when you are not used to it. It is certainly both physical and sometimes mental stress that can test the kidney and thyroid glands for this reason. Even in the long-term fasting phase, it is really very different if there is already a situation of strong stress at the physical and spiritual level in your life. If your need is to have muscle hypertrophy and become a very strong and muscular person in this case, then you need a type of hormone that is not the growth hormone. And indeed, having high levels of IGF-1 is linked to a reduction in life expectancy and longevity. Therefore, these things should not be sought at all costs and at other costs. The biggest advantage of eating one day for this reason can be seen for a long period of years and decades, even if it still works. Do not use it too much as a temporary remedy to lose weight before the summer, but it is really a very healthy habit to start from 16 eighths. Then it is better to reach it gradually and skip breakfast gradually. Try to postpone lunch more to 13 and 14 and 15 and 16. Perhaps it will help you in a few weeks and months. To get to do one meal a day without too much stress and do it well as a result of this extension of the fasting period, it will improve your diet as well. In a negative and pessimistic way, this brings you slowly to put it aside just while you are suffering. Instead, your goal is to do something in the short term, but sometimes the advice to do everything is not to do 23 over 1 because it will benefit you in the long term. If you are interested, we will do well in Valtolongo Day. What is important to you is a long-term goal. Therefore, there are no problems, and you spend a lot of time in a row, expensive and not tiring. You can still start doing it this way, and slowly you will realize that these are all the benefits that foods with a low glycemic index bring you. In this case, you can eat them to fill your diet with these foods that directly influence insulin and therefore burn fat, especially because your body does not start burning fat only when you lower the insulin level in the blood. You should start losing weight. Even if they are not perfect quickly, they can still keep insulin low and lose weight when their ability to resist hunger improves. You do not need to lose weight, but those people, on the contrary, are already lean and want to have all the benefits associated with the OMAD diet. In this case, when you do only one day one diet, you should remember that your body may have difficulty absorbing all the necessary nutrients. When you are pregnant, your body adapts to absorb them as much as possible and can avoid draining them through the kidneys through urine. If you give them all together in one meal, their absorption capacity may be compromised because they require it. And if you are on a diet, the doctor may have given you advice on supplements. For concerns about their effects or the body's ability to assimilate them every 8-4 hours or for any medications, the doctor will tell you. If you divide the food not into two but one part, then you are more likely to absorb all the necessary substances. Do not continue to lose weight. Explosive strength exercises such as CrossFit, HIIT, or simply weightlifting can be the ideal compromise for dieting without losing weight. But what you eat when you diet also depends on the goals you have. For everyone, in general, it is very useful to eat healthy fats rich in omega-3, such as fish, nuts, avocado oil, and olive oil. If you want to lose weight, you can start the day at lunch with vegetables and fiber rich in water and soluble and insoluble fiber, slowing down the passage of the bolus in the intestine so that you feel full and slow digestion. On the other hand, if you want to maintain your physical structure, 
it is important to be rich in protein both at lunch and dinner. To start the process of muscle catabolism, it is not necessary to reach exactly its threshold. Therefore, do not eat muscles. Take a protein with the necessary level of amino acids. What I did was my intermittent fasting experience. I started skipping breakfast, which is what most of us think we can do without too much effort. Go to work or exercise immediately after waking up. Usually, we do not eat in the morning out of hunger but more than anything else out of habit. I still had a slight appetite, so I ate only lunch and dinner for one two weeks, and even after eating snacks, I started to gradually shift lunch from 13 to 14 to 15. Yes, all this about one month and a half, I gradually switched to eating about three and a half or four, and then probably I feel completely full 18, after my lunch about two hours of meals and 22 hours of fasting. At 20, I still feel completely full when I have dinner, and I feel that one thing is to be hungry during the day, so it does not work for me. One meal a day rich in all those foods that have a hypoglycemic index and are rich in healthy fats, so really rich without looking too much. I always put all the quantity I want. I know that my body can burn with a quiet that I can exaggerate. I feel full and good with myself. I can really eat until I am the same. And now I discover my balance, and I tell you your experience. The benefits are seen and shared with the community. What was your path? Maybe you feel good because it works very well on 20 quarters or 16 eighths, and it is good for you. Do not rush to change. It is good. Therefore, you do not have to take a big step immediately. The important thing is that what you are doing is right for your health and well-being and that you know what you are and have the awareness to give to yourself. In the comments, share your direct experience related to the topic covered today. We want to learn more and will gladly respond to any questions. Comment to let us know how we can improve. Your like would make us happy. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video.